This is me delivering food on a horse. Where's the Pizza Express? Getting an avocado blessed by a priest. Can you bless this avocado? And dressing up as a big ball of yarn. Oh no, it's already a disaster. And they're some of the few ideas I'm doing today, all because you told me to. But why? Well, I always get asked this question. How do you come up with the ideas? How do you come up with the ideas? What should we talk to Max about? Where does he get his ideas? And the answer to that question is actually... I don't know. The one place I definitely don't get my video ideas from is you. I ate Swedish meatballs in Italy. No. Put a block of cheese across the River Thames. Why? I did a number two in number ten. Oh, that's actually quite good. Maybe I should listen to you guys more often. So let's start with some of your ideas. Let's give them a go. Idea number one, work as a delivery driver on a horse. Come on. It turns out it's relatively simple to sign up as a delivery driver in the UK. The thing is, I never specified exactly what I would be riding. Amazingly, they allowed me to do this. Always read the terms and conditions. So I saddled up, started my shift, and while waiting for my first order of the day, my noble steed Phoenix and I took a tour of the town. Causing a bit of a traffic jam here. Sorry, sorry, just, just doing a delivery. Sorry, sir. But thankfully, before I caused too much mayhem, an order came through. Oh, I think I've got a job. So while I head to pick up my first delivery of the day, let's start on silly idea number two. I need some avocados. Avocados, please. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, sir. I've bought lots of avocados because one of you has suggested that I should get them blessed by a priest so I can make holy guacamole. You, you proud of yourself? You happy with what you've done? You can't make holy guacamole without some holy avocados. So first on the agenda was to find a priest that was willing to bless my fruit. Very much not. I set about searching every local church I could for a willing clergyman. Right. Hello. But it seemed like God very much wasn't in. How are all these crazy churches? But eventually I found a church that was open and it was time for the weirdest blessing of their lives. Wow. Good afternoon, Father. Hi. Nice to meet you. My name's Max. Hello, Max. I was wondering, this is going to be incredibly bizarre. I work making a lot of guacamole in my job. <laughs> I was wondering whether you could bless the avocado. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> thank you very much. Here at the high altar. Uh, the high altar would be great, please. Thank you. Of course, as I'm a classy guy, only the highest altars would do for my holy guacamole. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for Max for the start of this new year. We pray that this avocado blossom in his life. And so we bless this avocado in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. We're used to what we quest. <laughs> <laughs> With my avocados blessed, it was time to make the most sacred of dips. Welcome to Max's Cooking Show. <laughs> Today, we're making holy guacamole. I'm your host, Maxi. Ingredient number one, blessed avocados. It's got the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit pip, isn't it? Yeah! Now, if I was on TikTok, I would tell you how you can grow unlimited avocados with this pip. <laughs> They've always been a bit holy. Molly, can you look up avocado yeah. jokes, please? What are you doing? I'm making holy guacamole. I got the avocados blessed by a priest. What priest except is he? <laughs> <laughs> this avocado. Who's the lovely man? Add onions, lots of lime, and finally, a bit of sriracha salt. That looks ruddy great. Oh yeah. With my guacamole tasting absolutely heavenly, it was time to be a good Samaritan. I now must feed the 5,000. Like some holy guacamole, avocados blessed by a priest, sir. Take your sinful guacamole and shove it where the sun don't shine. Do you like your guacamole sinful? Either or. Either or. Well, this is the first sin-free guacamole. How is it? It's good. Spicy. No, it's not spicy. It doesn't have the spice of sin in it. Anyone want some holy guacamole? It's been blessed by a priest. Holy guacamole, sir. Do you like some, sir? Quick, quickly. Take cheers. <laughs> Spiritus Sanctum. Oh. The secret ingredient. I was gonna say, is that secret ingredient? Is God. Wow. Nice. Praise the Lord. Maybe a bit more salt. Bit, <laughs> okay, absolutely. Thank you very much. Where's the camera? 
There. Oh, there he is. <laughs> my holy guacamole idea, I'd give that four pips out of five. My next idea, Williams M17 suggested that I should hire a mariachi band to spoil more things for my friend Charlie. Now, if you have no idea what those words mean, a couple of months ago, I went to some extreme lengths to ruin the Lion King for my friend Charlie, all because he spoiled Game of Thrones for me. Everyone You cream. can't say that. Obviously, I didn't go far enough. So, I'm gonna write an original song, find some men with some sombreros, and get spoiling. I'm in a car park with a mariachi band, and it's raining. You ready? To make sure the beef with Charlie was quashed once and for all, I'd written a spoiler-packed banger for my Mexican maestros that was sure to put Charlie off ruining anything for me ever again. With everything ready, all that was left to do was to surprise him at his flat. <laughs> three mariachi bands out of five. Now time for silly idea number four. Hello. Are you getting your shoes off as well when going to the lab? Of course. And this one is particularly silly. Hello guys. One of you suggested I went to a cat cafe dressed as a ball of yarn. Oh gosh. This is, this is so stupid. I think they're already quite interested. I think it's because apparently cats love balls of yarn and I can see that they're already very confused. I have to say, this idea wasn't my favourite of them all, as I might be slightly afraid of cats. Can I have this back, please? Can I just get this, please? Oh, okay, no, fine. No, you can, no, that's yours. That's, that's absolutely yours. Oh, God. Run. Ow, that's my toes. He's taking me with him. As I was starting to be assaulted by one cat in particular... I'm dressed as a ball of yarn in a cat cafe. I started to question my life's decisions. I think I'd rate this idea one ball of yarn out of five. Was it something I said? And the next one wasn't much better. For this, I would need to drive hundreds of miles out of London... I did say I'd do your ideas. ...to a place called Buxton. I've made it to Buxton with my Buxton. This is probably the stupidest idea that you guys have suggested in this video. One of you suggested that I buy some bottled water and released it back into the wild at its source. And what better option than a beautiful British bottle of Buxton, which happens to be sourced from St Anne's Well in the aptly named town of Buxton. Somewhere over there. I tell you what, very pretty. I see the well. The water comes from here and it'll be going back to here. She need help carrying them. It's literally that camper van. That camper van, okay, here we go. Lovely jugs of water, sorry. Thank you. No worries. Bit of community service. I've lost my, lost, lost, lost my place in the queue. As I had my bottle of Buxton to set free, it seemed like some members of the fosh pit had turned out for a guard of honor. Time to go home. Just having... This idea was as demoralizing as I thought it would be. 
Naught out of ten. Rubbish. Look at that. Guess it's time for me to check back in with Pass Me and Phoenix and to get our horseback deliveries done. Now, this idea got sent in by one of you who saw a legend in Sweden do it called Fabian. Pizza for Peter. And over in the UK, it seemed to be turning some heads. See the horse? Which one? It's my new vehicle I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. One horsepower. Really? Yeah. That's nice. You got any carrots? Any carrots? Yeah. <laughs> hey! I'll get you a carrot later. Come on, this way. You just stay right there. I'll be right back. Deliveries. Uh, what's the number? 264. Phoenix, I got you a tip. Hold on, Phoenix. Hold on, mate. Oh. Well done, good boy. Oh, it's gonna be one of these houses, isn't it? I'll try 15. I've got a delivery. Yeah, so it's a, it's a vegan margarita. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Have a good day. You know, it's a new, new, new thing for the, with the, you know, delivery. Oh, yeah, you do horses now. Yeah, we all do horses now, yeah. Yeah, anyway, have a good one. Cheers.